Hey, all right. What I wanted to do, um, especially if you haven't taken an online class before, I know one of the more intimidating things is taking your test online. Um, we use a browser called Respondus Lockdown Browser, and maybe you're not familiar with that. You don't know what to expect. So this is just to show you um, how to do this. Um, we've got a practice exam that we're all going to take before the real exam. So there's a couple reasons for that. Number one, to make sure we've got all the technical issues. Anytime you're using a computer, there's a chance that something could go wrong. So this is like a test run. Um, even if you have used this before, I still want you to take the practice exam. Number one, because it's worth some bonus points and that might make a difference at the end of the semester. Um, number two, though, and honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm so confused. I don't know if a lot of instructors maybe don't check these or what, but I'll have students. Um, it's getting better, but I'll regularly have students who have used this before. They've taken online classes. And then when the test starts, they're pulling their notes out and they're holding their books or they've got their phone in front of them. Those are all obviously things that you cannot do during the test. So number one, I do watch these. I do review these. I just want to go through what's expected. Even though this is just a practice exam, treat it like a real test. Clear your surroundings just you know, like it would be a real test. Um, follow all the instructions. Now the practice exam is going to be things like what year is it and what's the name of your instructor, I'm Mr. Edmondson. So you don't have to study for this at all. It's just to make sure we all know the rules when we're taking tests. Okay. All right. So you are watching this video right here. Um, so hopefully you've already downloaded the Respondus Lockdown browser. Um, there's the link if you haven't done that. And if it's not working for you, I think they've updated this pretty recently. So you may need to re-download it if you try to take the test and something's not going right. Um, just uninstall it and then download this again. You've got some instructions. There's the link to download. You can find that right there too. Um, and it's just got a little bit more information about the, the test. So just read that before you take the practice exam and definitely before you take the real test. All right, um, by the time you're watching this video, this will be available, the practice exam will be. But let me show you what we're gonna do. It's not gonna let me do too much because um, Lockdown Browser, this is a web browser that's kind of like um, Chrome or Firefox or Explorer, just any type of a web browser. The only difference is it's going to lock you into Blackboard so that you can take the test. It's not going to let you open anything else up on your computer while you're taking the exam. All right. So because of that, I'm using a webcam to record right now. Obviously, it's not going to let you record your screen, so it's not going to let me take the real test. But I can at least show you what to expect. Um, when you download the browser, it's going to have an icon that should go to your desktop that has that um, logo, Lockdown Browser. Now, it's going to stop me because I'm using um, well, PowerPoints up, and then I'm using the, the um, webcam. So I'm just going to X out of this, but that's the logo that you're going to click on. Okay. Um, when you log on to, when you open that uh, browser, it's going to take you to my Gadsden State. So it's going to look like that's the screen. Whoop. I'm already logged in. That's the screen that you're going to go to. So you're going to type in your username and your password, just like you would log on to get onto Blackboard, is all it is. And then when you log on it's going to take you to blackboard you'll see this screen yours is a lot less cluttered than mine because i've got all my courses over the last few years um, but once you get in just find our class biology 103 and then you're going to be locked in it's not going to have this address bar right here you are just going to be in blackboard so for the exams even for the practice exam you're going to go to the left where it says exam click on practice or whichever one you're going to go to now let me show you what happens if you're not using the browser. Remember, I had to exit out, so I'm not logged in right now. If I try to take the test and I'm not using Lockdown Browser, it's going to say that and I need a password. All right. Um, if I was using Lockdown Browser, though, the browser is going to automatically fill in that password. So if you see this screen, if it's not letting you take the test because it's asking for a password, you're probably not using Respond to Lockdown Browser. So just double check and make sure you do that. Okay. Um, all right, so that's as far as we can go, but here's what it's going to look like. You're going to see a screen that's really similar to this once you actually opened up the test. 
Okay, so it has terms of use. You just have to read through that. It's saying that you're not going to use this for any outside other than like taking exams. Um, I don't know how you could use Lockdown Browser for anything other than that, but you're going to agree to that. Um, after that, it's going to have a webcam check. So it's going to pull up your webcam. Your face will be there. Um, it's going to get you to take a picture and then it's going to get you to take a quick like a five second video just to make sure that the recording is working. All right. It wants you to talk. It says speak in your normal voice, say the alphabet or whatever, because you have to have your microphone um, enabled during the test. So if you're talking during the webcam check and you watch that video and there's no sound, double check and make sure you've probably cut off your um, webcam. All right. Uh, the order is a little different. So here's how mine is going to be set up after the webcam check there are guidelines and tips is going to be the next thing that you go to read those i know it's so easy just to click through but every issue that i've had with cheating or when i can't give someone credit because they didn't follow the instructions if you'll read through the guidelines and tips and you follow those guidelines and tips that's going to avoid all of that headache and all that miscommunication it's going to tell you things like don't wear a baseball hat. I know that sounds so weird, but if you dip your head down, I can't see what you're looking at. Um, and more importantly for the browser, it actually has like facial recognition. If you dip your head down, it's going to say that you're like out of the screen. It's, you can't see your face. So it's going to say that you left and it's going to flag your exam. And I'm going to have to go through and like clear off all of the issues that it has. So just follow those instructions. Another big one, I know like one of the huge advantages of an online class is you can be more relaxed. Like you can hang out on your bed and take the class and that's fine. The only problem is if you've got a laptop and you're on your bed and you start leaning back and then it starts tilting to the side or something like that, before you know it, you're not in the webcam anymore. All right. So during tests, like when you're watching lectures, you know, whatever, I don't care. But when you're taking the test, find a table or a desk or some type of a flat, sturdy surface so that you know that the webcam is going to be focused on you and it's not going to shift and drift off somewhere else. Okay. Um, so just listen to those, read those instructions. After that, it's going to ask for a student photo. It's really similar to the webcam check. You're just going to take a picture of yourself. After that, you're going to do a student ID or some type of a photo ID. So if you've got your Gadsden State ID, just hold that up to the webcam. Um, driver's license, any type of a photo ID will work fine with that. It's just to show that you are who you say you are. Um, and then the environment check. So I want you to read through those instructions. I can't, I don't have it memorized, but I've like added my instructions for there. So first thing you're going to do on your environment check, clear off your surroundings, like anything within a reasonable distance, within reaching or touching distance. You don't need to have any tablets, phones, books, notes, paper, anything like that. Just have it totally cleared off. This is the same thing if we were taking this in a regular class and I said clear off your desk before I gave you the test. That's all that is. Just make sure that everything is put away. Um, when you take the video, let me jump over this, see if I can do this. There we go. All right. When you take your actual um, environment video, you're going to get your webcam. So I've got like a, a separate webcam that's plugged into my computer. If you have one of those, what you're going to do is just show your, whoa, sorry, show the surface of your desk. Mine's kind of, I've got my notes for this video and I know I've got paper around there that I shouldn't have if this was a real test. But for your real one, just make sure everything is put away better than I did right now. Um, you can just show, you know, your surroundings. So it's going to say show the surface in front of you. And then show a quick 360 of your surroundings. Don't stress out about like the cinematography of this. Just make sure that you show everything that you can. And then put your webcam back where it was. Says to double check, make sure that you are centered up by the time you're done. All right. Now, don't stress out about if you're getting everything perfect, because as soon as you're done with that video, it's going to ask you to review it. Um, the student video, sorry, the, the student photo that you took of yourself, the ID picture and then that environment video, you're going to have to review those and click continue before you go on to the next step. So if you were doing your video and you thought you showed the surface in front of you and you didn't, you just click try again or like record again and just do it again until you show everything. All right. As soon as that's over, it is going to say um, additional instructions. On our test, additional instructions is going to be below the environment check. 
And what that's going to remind you is just during the test, make sure that you don't change anything in your surroundings. Make sure that the webcam is centered on you. Again, if you're at a desk or a table, that's not going to be an issue. If you were sitting down on a couch or a bed, it could shift around. So just make sure that it's centered on you throughout the whole test. Oh, one more. This was back on the environment check. This is a big one. Please listen to me on this because it kills me. Every time I have issues, they go, I didn't know this. Um, after you're done with your environment check, it's not going to show you on the screen anymore. But Respondus Lockdown Browser is still recording. From the time you do the environment check on, it's recording you. So if you've got a perfect desk and nothing is out there and everything is clean and you show it perfectly and then you click that you're done with the video and then you start going to drawers and picking up paper and laying it out or like sticking post-it notes on the computer it records all that and I can see that okay do not add anything into your environment after you're done with the environment video like you should have everything totally cleaned up and cleared away including phones and everything before you even sit down to start to take the test okay um, I think that's about it just remember that it keeps recording I cannot say that enough um, this practice exam is zero pressure just go through it um, and follow the instruction. I say zero pressure. The only thing you need to really be worried about is showing the environment the way that you're supposed to, showing your student ID, making sure phones are away. Again, in that sense, just treat it like a regular exam, and that's five easy bonus points you can get for doing that. More importantly, that's going to avoid any, any confusion when you take the real test, which is coming up pretty soon, too. All right? So I think that's got it. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll be glad to help.